In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing uh, the classic Chandra deck that I'm in love with. It's like one of the only aggressive decks I actually enjoy playing in the game. Um, if you've seen this deck profile a bunch of times, because I haven't changed it, I just don't think there's a need to. I'm just going to skip a chapter, all the games, so you can just avoid the deck profile if you wish. Um, I was trying to play a Jace Tempo list, but the meta is just way too refined, way too competitive, and I ended up losing two games. Um, and I'm trying not to like tank my diamond rank whenever I'm making videos for you guys. So um, if you guys could just have some patience with me at the beginning of each season, I'm just gonna play the decks I know I can win with. And so you're gonna see like maybe the first week, week and a half of every season, the same decks like more often than not. I just really wanna get to Mythic before the new set comes out. So then I can just have a complete blast experimenting, not caring about my ladder rank. But that's also why I played Chandra today to give you guys a little bit of a break from School of the Wizard stuff. So, uh, Pouncing Lemur is just a 3 2, uh, aggressively statted, doesn't matter, it can't block. Raging Goblin, 1 drop, 2 1 with haste, self explanatory. Iguana is a four dro uh, 2 drop, uh, 4 2 with trample, just pushes damage through. Sword Cannoneer, give a friendly creature plus 2 0, so it's reach. It trades, uh, lets you trade more effectively, uh, divers diversifies your threats. Goblin Shortcutter, debut, given enemy creature, can't block this turn, so if they go tall on a strategy, you know, they go all in on a creature, they take a whole turn off to play a big creature, they just lose the game. Also, um, late game, they'll also just try and like uh, tip or tat you with like blocker to attacker, and this messes up their math, and you can just push the last bit of damage through. Uh, Colonian Tusker, two drop, four three, just a stat stick. Um, you don't have traditional ways of getting card advantage in this list, so you're just trying to uh, trade multiple times with Tusker, and they just beat the crap out of them with it. Uh, giant growth before our friendly creature fights give it plus three plus two so again it's not quite as it's not quite as good as before but still amazing um allows you to trade up allows you to um get some more damage through if you put it on something with trample for example like the iguana you push more damage through um so a little bit of a surprise factor they should probably expect it if you've already shown them that your splash is green but if you haven't shown them that your splash is green then you do have a surprise factor Ball Lightning, 3 drop, 6, 1, Trample Haste, destroy this at the end of your turn. So it's basically just like a bigger Lightning Axe um, that just completely steals games. Uh, Blitzing Minotaur, 3 drop, 3, 3 with Haste, uh, self-explanatory. Uh, Chandra's Firecrafter debut, add a random red spell or trap that deals damage to your hand. So this card can give you Lava Axes, Shocks, all kinds of goodness. Um, and it's one of the only cards that actually generates uh, regular card advantage by giving you a plus one when you play it. Flame Shot, deal three damage to an enemy and one damage to each other enemy. So you can set up uh, board states where your opponent has one toughness on a bunch of things. Um, so that way you can clear them and then uh, go face. Um, you can take out something with three toughness and then other things with one if you don't deal the three damage to face. This combined with the active volcano starting turn six is a chance this erupts and spits fire instead of gaining an empty mana gem. Um, again, you set up board states where active volcano and flame shot just become way more potent and especially in combination with each other. Um, so. Uh, you need to be constant, very cognizant of that the entire time you're playing and trying to make the board states where this and Flame Shot will just steal you games. It's super, super important. It's very crucial to this deck. Vicious Mongol, 4 drop, 4, 5, Haste. It's just a beat stick. It gets in there. It's one of the reasons we're running green, obviously. It's just that that and Tusker uh, make the strategy from going super glass cannon to a strategy that um, uh, increases threat density while it doesn't reduce the speed. And that's why I think Gruul is the best combination with Chandra not the black deck, the green Chandra, I think is the best still. Lava Axe, still five damage to your opponent. You'll steal so many games between this and Chandra's ability. They effectively start the game off with nine less health if you have these cards. Hellrider, Haste, attack, deal one damage to your opponent for each attacker. So um, if you have a big board and you swing, they're taking a bunch of damage to face uh, right off the rip. And then also, um, let's say you get your opponent down to like five or less and they fold you out with their creatures. You can then build a board yourself wait until you can summon the Hellrider, then Hellrider them and deal all the last bit of damage to their face to win the game. And then uh, Fire Spout Elemental, I never actually drew it any of the games that I played today, which is unfortunate, because uh, it's one of the best cards in the game period, I think. Uh, haste, at the start of your turn, deal two damage to yourself, that part doesn't matter. It's really What's really important is that it's a 5-6-6 six, six with Haste, so your opponent's gonna have to um, either double or triple block this over the course of two or three turns, or they're gonna have to block it and then also remove it with like a uh, foul with a shell game, turn to stone, something, and basically give up their whole turn, which if you're already winning on board, which you should be because you're more aggressive than they are, you can push even more damage through. So this card is just absolutely fantastic. That's the deck. 
Thank you for watching, and let's get into it. Okay. This will be hard with all the heal they have. I really just, I really just need to play Teferi on on the ladder until he hit Mythic. Of Titans is about to start. Those are reach cards I need later. I need substantive, uh, like actual uh, board presence first. Really glad I have the lemur though. It'll trade into the crab. And then the next turn, I'm just gonna iguana and then buff whatever's remaining. Mm. Ugh. And she's in the lead. It's time. Oh, my home. I realize my whole monitor is kind of what do you fight for? tilted up. There we go. That looks better. That looks way better. Okay, that's almost guaranteed three damage because I'm gonna say they can't block and then poke. Unless I want to attack, I think they'll trade Iguana and then get 4 damage through. Is this just the ideal thing? I think this is actually better now. Because they're going to give up their good blocker, they're not going to take 5 damage. Yeah. Okay. You won't stand alone. Interesting. They're playing that signature card. That's very interesting. <laughs> I'm actually gonna pass. Keep him healthy. Go Mongrel next turn into Hellrider. Now, if he just passes, that's fine. Okay, so I know it's not absorb now. That's so cool, the arrow's flying in the background. Take the one. I don't know what he's doing, so I'll just take it. Now let's see what the trap is he's holding up. And next turn is going to be Hell Rider. I mean, depending on what he plays, it could be shortcut or growth. Yeah, I thought it was something like that. That's it. Ooh. That's a little scary, bro. Maybe it will be um, short cutter and giant growth. You better you better play some blockers and not rely on those traps so much, because this short cutter is gonna do nasty things to you. in a little bit of trouble or a lot of trouble especially because I've got um, three burn to the face and if he doesn't hold up absorb the hell rider is gonna do five damage by itself Forward to victory. I think that was a mistake um, yeah I'm just gonna pass and then hell rider is gonna do five and then even if the other smallest two things uh, get him then Okay, that was a really... Well, it wasn't really worthless, though, was it? Because now I can... Let me just make sure it's not actually a game for Hellrider. So Hellrider's going to be 5, and then he blocks the two biggest things. 
six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So this is just game, no matter what. You block the two biggest things, you're still super dead. I wasn't even thinking about how Ryder actually attacking. I was thinking the 2-2 two -two and the 2-3 getting through, but it's a lot worse than that. Yeah. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Okay, this is going to be hard because they run so many creatures to just gub up the board, so it's really hard to get through. And then Nissa constantly healing herself is obviously a big problem when I'm trying to, you know, kill them as quickly as possible. It's the OTK deck, and they've got the healing land, so it's not looking very good. I'm going to hunt for a one-drop. I just need to uh, put on as much pressure as possible. Maybe I should have kept the two-drop, but I have so many other two-drops and one-drops. Nissa. Didn't think it, it would happen like this. Yeah, this almost this this land almost completely mitigates Chandra's <laughs> ability. Yikes! This is this is really bad for me. If I don't top a two drop, then I just didn't draw sense. any of my early cards. Yeah, that's that's honestly kind of insane. Um, I mean, I can put on a lot of pressure after this, but. <laughs> Now it doesn't even matter because um, they have a three cost, uh, I mean a three power thing. So I'm gonna play Fire uh, Crafter. Okay, that opens up something for me, but yeah, not drawing early stuff was just that's insane. Like six cards in, no two drops. Yeah, I'm taking the trade. I'm not messing around with that. He's got to play something that has at least three power, which he does. This is still a good play. You can give this up. It's totally fine with me. I knew he was going to do that. I knew he was going to be greedy. Now, next turn, I have this and this. Yeah, I don't care about you attacking me. You can end, my, end the game at whatever life total you want, pretty much. Okay. That's kind of lame. Oh no, I'm only at five. I was thinking I could do both of these. Um, he's gonna block. He's not taking the four. There's no way. Man, if I had any kind of curve early, I think I might actually got this game because my hand's pretty gas. <laughs> this is the kind of do nothing turn I need from you. Oh man, I really needed six. I was gonna go four and two drop. Couldn't even take care of the little little guy for me. We'll go right through them. So I want him to have to give up his actual creature if he wants to block. Fantastic. That that is that is that is the perfect do nothing turn I needed from him. Cause now I'm gonna get multiple turns in with the Hell Rider. So that might have sealed his fate. Just pass. You don't want to use this. You don't want to use this. You don't want to play something for one. You just want to pass. You want to pass. And let me wreck you. That's what you want. I can tell. Just pass. Just pass. You want it to try and get to your combo in time. Bro. Play the one dropper pass. Like what are we what are we doing here? I must not delay. I don't know guys. I just I hope he DC'd, but like that's always like I want to think that so I don't think badly about people. But um, oh my goodness, Hell Rider into Hell Rider, followed up by these three spells. 
I can play the Hell Rider into Shortcutter as well, which is really crazy. Now he, I mean, he runs Day of Judgments. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why he quit. Maybe he was hunting for Day of Judgment and didn't see it. Maybe that's what it was. In this deck, though, getting board wiped isn't a big deal because we run so many hasters. I must not delay. Well, guys, this is this is premium content, right? Mm -hmm. Some good stuff. You know, I have to say though, this happens the least out of any card game I've played so far. I used to play Elder Scrolls Legends, and that was like a non-stop thing in Elder Scrolls Legends. People would get so salty. Oof. Fight the fire? Yeah. Wait, wait, maybe, maybe, maybe they DC, and then they came back into the game, and they're like, "Oh crap!" And then they left. Maybe that's what happened. That's what. That's what I'll choose to think. That's what happened. Ooh, Gideon's one of our worst matchups. Um, the armor is like just so brutal if they have a bunch of stuff with armor. Um, they just get a free trade and then they keep their board presence. It's really hard to compete with Gideon playing Chandra. It's a curve. I'm going to keep it. Um, this can pop armor. This can let me get some damage through. This is can give me a spell that could kill something I wouldn't be able to get rid of otherwise. So it would almost be silly to not do this. If they have the Faithful Steed though, that completely counters my turn one play. Um, I just want them to play something that's uh, toughness two or less. Thank you. At least these trade. I can deal with that. And this gives something armor. See what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? It's a terrible matchup. I know you're gonna block. Yeah. You know, honestly, I don't know if it's correct for Gideon to block there because they need to get, you know, three things on the board. Ooh. Oh, the next creature, and so they both get it. So dumb. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna use my stuff now. Luckily, this can actually block into these effectively. Like, this can take out one full version of those. Just like Look at this. Time. What did I tell you about the armor? And then he immediately goes, card that gives armor into three armored things. Like, that is not, um, it's not what we wanted to see. This is the only way for me to put on pressure. He's going to block here and not take anything. But it's going to lose armor, which is fine. And then, okay, fine. Um... I can still block here and block here, take out all the armor, and then flame shot. So that's the plan right now. But this is this is he's drawing all the armor things. Just play the two drop one three with armor two. Just really seal the deal. We fight as one. Okay, I'm making sure there's no traps. Yep, I'm gonna take a nice juicy five, and then I hope he plays something that can lose to flame shot. Yes, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, I mean that's less good. Oh, he wants to divine smite me by going super wide. No, no, don't be, don't be, don't do that. Okay, so I think we just. Go here, right? Do I just hold off on this? It feels really bad trading this into a one something. Hmm. So let's let's see. Okay, I got the two damage in. Whew. Next turn. I could play like these two, which might not be too bad. I could like make him give up a flyer at least. Unless he wants to just take the damage, which he very well may. No, stop giving stuff armor. Stop it. Another flame shot would be like the coolest thing ever. Like that would be that would be so amazing. I saw the red and I saw the flames and for a second I thought I I thought I did it. Thought I ascended. What does this even do? Well, I guess this actually answers this. Make them burn. Okay. Can I like outgas him? 
I don't know, man. I don't want him to get a favorable on this, so I'm going to swing with these two. Try and uh, trim down the field a little bit. Oh yeah, I figured he would just take there. Man, I might be able to wean him down a little bit. I mean, he's got another creature here, basically, but... Um... Okay, okay. That's not a creature. We fight as one. Uh, but that was that ruins my block plan, bro. That's not cool. Give me another flame shot. I know I'm asking for a lot, but. No, don't increase the strength of... Oh, okay. I thought he was going to increase the strength of one of those so they didn't die to stuff. Okay, this might be good. Okay, it wasn't, like, the worst thing I've ever seen. Now, I could attack with both of these. He blocks one, and then I could fling the other one and try and hit it. I don't know. Yeah, see, now he wants to play correctly. Um... Feeling hot. Make them burn. That's not bad. Okay, all is not lost yet. Okay, of course it's you know it's gotta get some free stuff. We fight as one. Okay, so I'm gonna block here first. Now I'm gonna block here. I think I have to take that. Just like we practiced. And he's running out of stuffs. He's running out of stuffs. No! Like Stop with the Remember armor creatures. I got your shield right here. Stand back, everyone. Can you say we're dead? Can you say we're dead? Uh yeah, there's nothing to be done here. There's no way, like this, this, I mean he's gonna have six attackers, so I'd have to play, I can't even, I can't even block everything effectively. Like Gideon, I could, I could block these three and Gideon and take two. Like that's possible. This doesn't die to anything, but of course like, in my super cheap deck, I don't have a way of, um, like playing this and something else. Oh, no, no, no. As soon as he top decks the um, thing that makes them all stronger, these things are going to be an absolute menace. Yeah. Yeah, there's just nothing. If that's the thing that buffs them, I'm just dead on the spot. Okay, it wasn't, but that just means he's going to get it next time. So, chump. I mean, no matter what, he's just gonna get me next turn. I mean, I could do this, and I could top deck flame shot to get this and all the other things. So, I mean, a flame shot is like my only out here. I need a flame shot. Like, okay, okay, that helps, as long as it doesn't just... Bruh, I just needed, like, one or two of those to take out all the stuff that's on the board. Wow. And I still haven't top-decked a creature that I can curve out with. Like, okay, this is a combination of just, like, really bad draws and a bad matchup. <laughs> I mean, I could do this, plus this is nine. Like, if he doesn't block, then I could win. No, no, I need him to block something, but he won't block. There's only one damage different. Yeah. There's no other combination of cards that even potentially could win me the game. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yep, that's it, guys. 
Oh, I could. Yeah, and then the one flyer kills me. Man, so that was just that was just abysmal turn of events all the way around. But it's a bad matchup anyway. I expected to lose it off rip. It was just like teasing me a bit with like the possibility of maybe winning. But that'll do it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.